Thanks for tuning in. We've got a little par three here, and you can see the flags on the right hand side. It's a long hole, it's a hard hole, but there's nothing worse than when you've hit a good shot. It's only a few meters to the side of the hole, but hey, it's short sighted. You shouldn't have missed it there, but look, we all hit bad shots. We're allowed to hit them. Let's go through a few little things that might help you to, to recover from that sort of tee shot. I've got hardly any green to work with. Uh, I've got a nice lie, I'm on a slight uphill. But the key to hitting this shot, uh, number one, you've got to get out, out, right? So if you're, if you're going to miss, you've got to miss it long. But the real key to hitting this shot is taking loft. I've got a 60 degree wedge. I've got plenty of loft here, 60 degrees. I'm going to open the face up. So by that, I mean, if that's my normal grip, I'm going to turn the club open, you know, at least 45 degrees there. And again, take my normal grip, right? So I've got lots and lots of loft here and I'm going to get my body nice and low, my knees low, my hands low. That's all going to help with loft. So now I've got so much loft. The only thing left to do is, is really is to swing through it. Okay. So get nice and low, plenty of loft. You don't have to bash it, but you've, you've got to swing through it. I swung through nicely there. And you can see there it's popped up nice and high. It's about three feet from the pin. It's really quite a nice shot. So I'll go again. Give myself a good lie, okay? Get your body low. Get your hands low. The body lower ensures that I'll get my club into the sand, right? I don't need to dig down. I don't need to bash down, right? But I certainly need to, to swing through, and if I get my body nice and low, like I said, face is open, hands are nice and low, and swing through. Comes out nice and soft, and lands in there pretty close. Now, if you, if you decelerate, so, you know, if I get nice and low here, and if I go and you know, if I don't accelerate through, I'm going to leave it in the bunker there. That's the worst thing I can do. We don't want to do that. So once you've got that set up right, and I don't mind if you're square to the target, if you're a bit, a little bit left. I'm usually comfortable a little bit left. I've been doing it for years. So not to say that you can't set up square. This one I'll set up square at the hole. Nice and low, low hands. Swing through. You get that nice thud. And that one's erring on the side of caution, but certainly out. And so if you get plenty of loft, get through that sand, open that face. It, once we open that face, it exposes, it exposes that bottom edge and that will help cut through that sand. And so hopefully that'll help you with those short side of bunker shots.